back, everyone, to the last part of our What You Missed Episode 5. Wait! Hey! What are you doing here? Where's Mike and Blitz? I'm over here. I'm getting a snack. I think he tied up Blitz or something. You son of a b You mother son of a I'm telling me, God damn. damn, you made me miss my shot. <laughs> I'll get him next time. Anyway, let's start this list right. The same way y'all ended the last one. With something about me. Number 63. Millie grabs Stryker by his bandana and literally stabs him in the back. The same way he, metaphorically, did to everyone else. Point 64. Millie's eyes are filled with rage or wrath as she is seeing red. If you look closely, she has upside down crosses as her pupils. She is vicious if you attack her hubby Moxie and more consistency with the black blood that imps have. 65. So... Stryker just broke Millie's arm. You can actually see the bone fracture. <laughs> Point 66. Millie's family cellar contains bear traps, hand axes, saws, meat cleavers, battle axes for chopping heads, spears, a sickle, bags of flour, boxes, and a lamp. 67. Stryker calls Blitz a rodeo clown. Again, fitting because of Blitz's past, but this also shows that Stryker never had a genuine respect for Blitz. There's more leverage with your rodeo clown of a boss if I don't. Point 68. More weapons in the basement. Another axe, a battle club like Negan's bat, and a Grim Reaper scythe. Point number 69. So the joke about Moxie asking about not being good with his hands implies things. But then we hear a thumping squeak sound coming from Millie as she gives Moxie a really babe kind of look. Like hitting a nail on the head. I'm not good with my hands. Oh, right. Point 70. Moxie has a gun with a musical note on it. Coming this summer, Moxie, get your gun to a theater near you. Call your local box office for tickets now. 71. Is that the same long-haired imp woman we saw in Blitz's coffee shop posts? And from episode 2? Point 72. The mic turned from red to purple and then back again. Number 73. From far left to right, we see B-Pin Imp Girl looking a bit beat up. And, well, the other imps that made appearances throughout the episode. Seriously, we can't repeat this enough. And if you listen carefully, you can hear an imp shouting, I told you he could open up the red thing in the sky! Like, it was a conspiracy theory or something. Like, doesn't Stolas do this every year? Calm yourself, alright. <laughs> 74. The sign says, Trident or Pain. Point 75. Do you notice that in the past episodes, some of the inanimate objects have faces painted on them? Or look like faces? Here's another instance as the wall behind Stryker looks like a face. 76. As Stryker tries to convince Blitz to come to his side, we see that Blitz might genuinely be thinking and contemplating his life. He has a lot of darkness in his past, and we've seen glimpses of his own insecurities throughout the series. He doesn't have much true confidence in himself, and you know he wants power, or at the very least, to prove himself. Point 77. Stryker mentions slaying overlords, which has a direct connotation to Hasbin Hotel. We know there are indeed overlords as well as the nobility, so does this mean that we could get a crossover one day? and see Stryker and Hasbin, or possibly get a look at the Overlords from the Hell of a Boss perspective? Whoa, 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 calm down now. It's all just theories for now, but maybe we'll see what Vivzy Pop has up her sleeve. When you could be slaying Overlords. Point 78. 
we can see that Stryker's words may truly be getting to Blitz. The business or the system of hell is against Blitz or possibly all imps, as they seem to be considered the lower class, even below that of human sinners turned demon. Why is this? Point 79. Blitz's eyes are red and white instead of his usual yellow. You know what? Fuck it. I'm in. <laughs> Point number 80. We see Blitz gulping down in nervousness as Stryker stares him down. Is this... seduction? Point 81. Look at the picture behind Stryker. It's a picture of Spindle Horse! Number 82. A picture of Millie's parents when they were younger. Millie really does take after her mom. Point 83. This whole fight scene was epic. But to point out just a few things. One, Blitz is an awesome fighter. He can throw punches with his fists and his tail. Two, he managed to put a hole in the wall and is really dexterous with his tail. Three, he can even grab Stryker with it and manages to throw him across the room and into the wall. Point 84. What kind of store is Flaming Horns? Point 85. Luna is back in her normal clothes again, and Blitzo is being overly affectionate towards her as usual. Even though she's pretty much helped Stryker get away, and we won't fault her for that. Millie is also now in a leg and arm cast. 86. We may be pulling straws here, but how many times will Blitz make the same big-eyed, adorable face in this episode? Point 87. The Hideaway Motel. No vacancy. The guy that tried to kill you deaf isn't here. Number 88. So, the imp that Stella threw at Stolas in Lululand is the one still holding the phone and literally hearing all the evil plotting going on. Stella's the only one not with a plate of food at the dinner table. Meanwhile, Octavia is just vibing out to her loud music as she eats, and Stolas is reading at the table. Kind of rude, all things considered, but really, Stolas, how thick could you get? Although, maybe he already knows Stella's out to get him? Mm. Point 89. Though by this point we see Stolas finally looking up at Stella and seems a bit bewildered, so maybe he really doesn't know she is out to get him? We will have to wait and see in future episodes. But on another note, both of their eyes are glowing red. Point number 90. The new gun Striker has looks like it's still able to kill demons. It has the same glowing markings as the blessed tipped rifle, so he's still very lethal. Point 91. And last but not least, proof! Norman Reedus as Striker! Point 8. The sign says, Own Fizzerales bought today, with a complete image of Fizz- Dah. Their eyes glow. Consistently? Dah. Rough and tumble- Dah. Blitz has another point. Dah. Okay, Moxie is beyond cute when he starts to go on about his research and love of weaponry to impress his in-laws. But, he mentions angelic technology, which does allude to further plot of the episode. Also, another possible connection to has been hotel plot in the exterminate. I can't I talk. Blitz facial expressions this episode knows no bounds, as we see his heart and his That shark is relentless. He has a personal baby. Personable? What in the world is personable? So now we see a bull's head mounted in a family photo of Millie, her parents, Sally Mae, and the three ba 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 ba. So now we see a bull's head mounted in a family photo of Millie, her parents, Sally Mae, and the three ba ba ba. Mm. 
<laughs> Mike, stop distracting me! Look at the picture behind Spindle Horse. That's it, though. Look at the picture behind Striker. It's a picture of... Luna is back in her normal clothes again, and Blitz is being overly affectionate. Why can't I speak? Luna is back in her normal clothes again, and Blitz is being overly affectionate towards her as usual. And I said that wrong. Point number nine. Millie has daggers and knives lodged into her bedside and on her half of the bed frame. And... Aww, their bed frame has a heart shape in it. Also, also, Millie appears to be... Fuck, I <laughs> need to cut that out. Appears to like, not B, appears to like. 53. Stryker's song is bringing imps to tears. Just look at the detail on these impsonas. These are the artists and crew, guys. And even... I just mixed up one of the words. <laughs> Hello and good day, you beautiful sinners. If you enjoy the videos here and want to see more, might I suggest you support us by joining our Patreon. Doing so would allow us to bring you endless entertainment. From uncensored comics and songs to special wallpapers for your various digital devices. I know a certain screen that could definitely use a makeover. For those looking for a bit more, hmm, specialty in their rewards, we have original, exclusive ASMR audios being produced, and it'll only be available for our top two tiers. Follow the link in the description to see all of our perks. You give your support, and we'll give you what you desire. What do you say? Do we have a deal?